What is up guys, Jisa Messi here and welcome to a new potential squad. As you can see by the badge, we'll be covering Paris Saint-Germain or also known as PSG this episode. But as always, if you're looking for home team coins, go check out FIFCoinsline.com. Their links will all be below in the description. And also, if we could smash 1,000 likes, it'd be absolutely awesome, guys. And your support yesterday on uh, the Road to Sherlock episode 1 was freaking incredible. Over 3,500 likes. How? <laughs> you guys are legends. And uh, I can't thank you enough. That series will be carrying on. And uh, the episode 2 will be out around 9pm tonight, guys. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, let's get into this team then. Um, and also comment below, guys, what team you want me to do next, as always. So the PSG team, um, I've changed the formation slightly to get better chemistry. Because uh, uh, what I've seen and what I've uh, like looked up, they, play a, they, they, they go for a 4-3-3 more than this. Um, but simply the fact that Lucas is set as a cam on this game, uh, whereas in real life, I think he plays on the right wing, if I'm correct. Uh, so starting things off then in goal, we have got Sirigu. He was unlucky to miss out on a team season spot last season. Um, he, got, he made a ridiculous amount of saves and stuff like that. And uh, what I saw him in the Champions League, he was very, very impressive as well. And uh, the right back is going to be Jale. Uh, I've not seen too much of this guy, um, but he seems to have played a lot of games for PSG last season. Um, I'm not sure if he, if he mainly plays right back though. I've seen... Uh, a couple of people said on Twitter that he can play in the middle as well. Uh, then we've got Sacco. Sacco has been linked to a move away from uh, PSG uh, with the likes of Monaco and English, English clubs interested. But I think he'll stay uh, simply the fact that PSG are the current uh, Liga 1 champions and um, it's quite a big thing to let go of really. And he's, I think he's one of the players that was there before the money came in as well. And then we've got Thiago Silva, another player linked to a move away. Uh, everyone knows how good he is, had a great Confederations Cup and uh, to be fair, uh, apparently Barcelona are linked and I'm not sure if he'll go or not. But if he does, it'll be one of the biggest transfers of the summer. And then we've got Matuidi, another player that's interested in a lot of clubs. Uh, but I think he's a safe bet to stay at PSG this summer. And uh, he was a very good signing from St Etienne, if I am correct. I'm um, not sure if it was last season or the season before. But still, uh, I saw his game against, uh, was, I think it was Real Madrid or Barcelona. I can't remember what one. But it's Real Madrid against the Spanish club and he had a great game. Um, then we've got Lucas. Like I said, he might, he might not play Cam in real life. Uh, but he's quite a versatile player where he plays. And Lucas, he's a big, big prospect. Um, he, he signed uh, from Sao Paulo. Uh, he, he signed in the summer, but he joined in January. And uh, he's made a decent impact so far. And then we've got Pastore, another player that is uh, quite... He, he was a massive signing from uh, Serie A a few seasons back. And um, not sure if he's paid off or not, but he still gets in the team, so he must be pretty decent. This Let's go to the transfer players then. We can go to the left back, and that is going to be... The it's gonna be a silver non rare. Where is he? Where is he at? Uh, there he is, which is Digne. Um, he plays for uh, Lille in the obviously the French league, and he's got some decent stats. Him, he's 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 very young, 1993. He's the year older than me, and um, he's been linked to a few clubs. Uh, Monaco, another one, I believe. Uh, but PSG looks like it could be a better destination for him. And the next CDM is going to be a, a, a Barclays Premier League player. And that is going to be Johan Kabai. Um, Kabai has been linked to a move to Monaco as well as PSG. But I think uh, PSG might tempt him a bit more. Simply the fact that the, the quality of football is going to be better. Uh, for now at least. And I think, I don't know, with Newcastle, I'm not sure if he'll stay there or not. As the new guy they've got, is it Joe Kinnear? Something like that. He called him Yo Johan Kebab. I, I don't know what he's on about. But Kabai is another link player. Center forward then. This is a one that you saw in my Arsenal team. And that is going to be Wayne Rooney. He is there. And um, Rooney has been linked to a move away from United. But, uh, of course, David Moyes said he is not going anywhere. So, this, he's just there because the rumours were there at some point or another. And uh, so, guys, before you comment below, no, Rooney is not going to PSG. <laughs> and uh, the strike here finally is going to be Edinson Cavani who is there. And Cavani has apparently already signed a contract or in negotiations with uh, PSG with a £42 million um, oh, transfer rate. I don't know if, uh, how true that is. But it's coming from quite big sources in France. So uh, Cavani looks like it could be a PSG player soon. Let's go on to bench and we have got a song. These are all players that have been linked. Not sure how much these have been linked to be honest. But uh, according to Transfer Marked or something like that. Uh, I think it's a German site. It's very, very good for transfer news. I'll leave the, uh, that link to, in the description below to that. Uh, but Song, Maluda, Nani, Kazuki Honda will be on a free in a, uh, in a few months I believe. If not January. Um, we've got Kaka who I believe is staying at Real Madrid. Di Maria linked with a move away, but again, I can't see him moving. And Kapue, um, look at them sideburns. Good day, I've shaved them off. Uh, so guys, that is a team. Uh, whether or not I should put Rooney in or not, it all depends. Because 
Um, I basically, if you don't understand the series, I'd take the biggest transfers and put them in the team, guys. So I'll back in a second with the gameplay. And I'm back, guys, with the gameplay. And the first team coming is, is a 4 3 1 2 Barclays Premier League team. Uh, with, he's got himself an informed storage who is a feisty player on this game. Uh, he gets off to a very, very good start, though. Luis Suarez getting on the end to a, uh, a pretty, pretty dirty ball there by Daniel Sturridge. But uh, Daniel Sturridge then punished me again. Um, this near post OP needs to be sorted out in FIFA 14. Um, it's ridiculous. I don't know why it's so good. Uh, this is pretty much the only opportunity we got all game. And I've really fucked it up. Um, it's quite quite a poor game, my standard. I just go through one of the stages at the moment where I can't bother to play FIFA. I'm not sure why, uh, but I'm sure that'll pass very, very soon with the new transfer players and stuff like that. Um, he gets another break here with Mario Balotelli. He smashes that and it hits the woodwork. Uh, surprisingly, the near post OP didn't work. We lose that game 2 0, so I wasn't very surprised as. I just, I just really couldn't be bothered. I don't know why. Um, the second team guy gets is a Italian and Brazilian hybrid. Um, it's a very, very sweaty team. And he gets off to a decent start here. Hits the post. Uh, it was quite unlucky. And he hits the post again through a Neymar volley. Um, the ball comes back out, though, to a corner. And Dede out jumps my player, which he probably shouldn't have done. And we 1 0 down, so it wasn't very happy. Um, but we do get quite a, uh, a lucky, uh, not lucky because we don't need to score, but Matuidi hits the post. And uh, that seems to be quite a common factor in this uh, these games. Um, but Rooney smashes the penalty, and um, the penalty was won quite clearly. Uh, he did get fouled in the box. Um, I didn't put that in because I forgot. Uh, but Neymar crossed the ball in, and uh, I think that's Kelvin with the header. Got, gets unlucky there, and FIFA bullshit goes my way. Cavani does a bit, good bit of skill here. Uh, I pass it to Lucas. Good turn, and look at this for a sublime finish. Boom, have that. You bastard. And um, that is uh, 2 on to me in the 90th minute. I was a bit of an arsehole with the celebration, but he has been a twat all game. Um, so like I said, that was in the Gold Cup final, guys. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for daily FIFA content. And thank you guys for watching the video. See you later.